Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here with all of my April reading plans and the new releases for the month. So I, first of all, cannot believe that we were already into April. I felt like I was saying that about March, about getting into 2024, all of the things. I just can't believe how fast the months, the year is flying by already. I'm also just so excited for a new reading month. I know that March was a difficult month for myself for reading as well as so many others. I know so many people were messaging me saying they were kind of going through the same thing for March, like having a hard time connecting with reads, finding good reads, all of those things. We were kind of all in this like reading slump together. So here's hoping that April is much better for all of us. So as always, I'm going to share all of the new romance releases for the month that I am excited for or that I can't wait to read, as well as talk about some that I have like for book clubs or ones that are on my radar to get to for the month as well. So first up, I am a co-host for the Historical Hellions Book Club, which is basically a historical romance book club where we read historical romances published before the year 2000. So our pick for April is Tapestry by Karen Rainey. Here is this beautiful cover with the gold. We have a masked hero, as you can see, a little bit better on the back as well. So some people mentioned this one in the comments because we always pick books that kind of people recommend through the live shows. And so this is our April pick. This one I believe is Beauty and the Beast retelling with a masked scarred hero. I'm very excited. I've been wanting to read Karen Rainey for forever. I have so many of her books that I've collected. So I'm very excited to get to this one. And like Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite retellings. So I cannot wait. I have very high hopes for this one. So hopefully this one is a hit because I know the last couple months haven't been so great for us. So here's hoping this one is great. Definitely let me know if you plan on reading this one with us. We have our live show. It's going to be on April 24th. I'll put the little graphic here. So definitely read the book. Join us for the chat. Just join if you love to chat about historical romances because we do that as well. So yeah, definitely can't wait to read this one in April. Also Tori from Novel Life, which she has a Patreon and I know she's going to be reading some more historical fictions, which I am very excited for. So she started kind of a historical fiction book club on her Patreon where she basically is going to read a historical fiction kind of every other month, I think, and then have a live show about them. So I think her one for April is Salt to the Sea. So I'm very excited to get to this one. I love historical fiction fiction and I'm excited to kind of branch out and read some more as well. So I grabbed the audio of this one from my library and I cannot wait to get to it and see what it is about. So now I'm going to get into the new releases that are coming out in April. So on April 2nd is Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I actually read an arc of this one. I read it on the way down to the Sweetgrass book signing that I went to and I did enjoy this one. I had high hopes for it, not gonna lie, because yours truly, her release from last year, is one of my favorite reads of last year. I loved that one so much. The anxiety rep, the couple, the romance, everything was just so good in that book. So this one didn't hit quite the same but it's still I mean it's Abby Jimenez and I love all of her books so it was still a good one it comes out on April 2nd. Also on April 2nd is Here We Go Again by Alison Cochran. I'm very excited to get to this one. I've read the last I think two or three releases from this author. This one I believe is a sapphic road trip kind of rom-com vibe. I believe they were childhood friends turned enemies turned lovers which is one of my favorite little sub tropes so I can't wait to get to this one. Also on April 2nd is a historical romance so this is The Lady He Lost by Faye Delacourt. So I actually saw this cover I think the end of last year I was scrolling through Instagram and immediately stopped everything I was doing and had to go and see what this cover and what this book was about. So this one comes out on April 2nd. I believe it's the author's debut could be totally wrong. I've heard amazing things from it from some friends who read it early so I am so excited here for the cover here for a new historical romance. Speaking of historical romances also on April 2nd is A Simple Seduction by Jana McGregor so I have read quite a few from this author in the past sometimes they're hits sometimes they're misses and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to this one but I do love the blue and just wanted to recommend another historical romance that is coming out in April. On April 3rd is supposed to be Mafia Devil by Mila Finelli so this one I am very excited for it's gonna be a novella in her Mafia romance series so I can't wait I have read all of that Mafia series Obsessed and and I'm very excited for this one. Obsessed with the cover. I feel like they are just so well done for this series and I am definitely going to be reading this one when it comes out. And then on April 9th is Wake Me Most Wickedly by Felicia Grossman. So this one I have actually read the author's debut which came out I think the end of last year. That one was like a Cinderella historical retelling with Jewish representation. So and this one I believe is Snow White inspired Regency historical. It also has the Jewish representation. So I'm excited to try it out. The first one I feel like it wasn't a super hit for me but also Cinderella retellings are kind of hard for me. So I'm excited to get to this one and check it out. I also just love a fairy tale retelling for historicals. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be grabbing the audio of this one. Then actually two of my most anticipated releases for April both come out on the same day. So on April 9th, we have Older by Jennifer Hartman. I am so excited for this one. I love Jennifer Hartman books. This one is Age Gap. I think it's ex-boyfriend's dad. Kind of those forbidden vibes. I cannot wait. Angsty, like sign me up immediately. Also on April 9th is A Wild Love by Elsie Silver. This is the first book in her new series. I know this one kind of exists or connects to her Chestnut Springs series. The hero in this one is the brother of Willa from Heartless 
Atlas, which is one of my favorite books from Elsie. And so I'm so excited for his book. I believe it's Single Dad, and I can't wait to get to it. Like, Elsie, Single Dad, say less. <laughs> On April 11th is Stay by Willa Astor. I think this is part of her Landmark Mountain series. Could be totally wrong, but I feel like that is what it is. I definitely, I keep saying this every time she has a new book out in this series, but I definitely want to get to this series. Hopefully I make that a priority in April. I've kind of been waiting for them all to come out on audio, so that's another reason why I'm kind of waiting, but I'm very excited for this one. All right, and then Not a Romance, but comes out on April 16th is One of Us Knows by Alyssa Cole. I love Alyssa Cole's writing. I love her romances. I love her thrillers. I love all of her books and have read, I think, all of them, so I am very excited for this one. Like, I have an audio hold out from the library, and I am just dying to get into this one. Also on April 16th is Late Bloomer by Maisie Eddings. I did read this one. This one I had an audio ALC of and I didn't really love it. I am obsessed with the cover though. It's a sapphic romance kind of opposites attract where basically one of the heroines ends up winning the lottery. She gets a lot of money. She wants to tie up her money because she's kind of having a hard time saying no to people who are kind of coming out of the woodwork asking for money. So she ends up purchasing like a failing flower farm, moves there, and then when she gets there the other heroine shows up and is like um I own this property and so it kind of goes from there. Opposites attract a huge like cast of side characters. I didn't super love it, but I'm obsessed with the cover. So maybe this author isn't really for me, but I know plenty of people who would probably really love this one. The low angst, love the cover. It's out on April 16th. Also on April 16th is Pirate Girls by Penelope Douglas. I am dying for this book. I love all of Penelope Douglas's books. I've been reading their books for years now. This one is kind of a spinoff from the Fall Away series where we've already had the first book and this is book two. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to get to it. So yeah, definitely can't wait for that one. On April 18th is Best Laid Plans by Emily Silver. This is, I believe, the second book now in her new hockey romance series. So I read the first book. It definitely felt like a prologue and kind of a setup to the series, but this one I'm excited to get to because I know it's hockey as well and has some of my favorite tropes in it so I am definitely excited to check it out. Her books are usually low angst just very quick. I think they're all about like 300 pages or less so I'm excited for this new one for her. And then another of my highly anticipated April releases comes out on April 19th so we have Midnight of Ashes by Tessa Hale. This is the second book in her Why Choose Dragon Shifters kind of that paranormal vibe romance and I was obsessed with the first book. Read it back in January when it came out. Still one of my favorite reads of the year so far and so I am dying to get to this book because book one ended on a cliffhanger. This is one of those why choose romances that I absolutely love because I absolutely love all of the heroes. They're, they're all so distinct and unique and I feel like I'm not kind of rooting for any of them over the other. Like I love all of them so I'm very excited to continue on with this one. Also on April 19th is Learn Your Lesson by Candy Steiner. So this is I think the third book in her hockey romance series. I know this is her very first single dad romance and I am excited just for that fact alone. I love Candy Steiner books. I've read I think pretty much all of them except for maybe her PSU series. I've been reading her for years and years so I'm excited to get to this one. And then on April 23rd we have quite a few releases. So first up is My Season of Scandal by Julianne Long. Julianne Long, I've read some of her historicals. Sometimes they're hits, sometimes they're misses. Not sure if I'll make this one a priority, but it is coming out in April on April 23rd. And then the other two for April 23rd, I have actually read arcs of them. So the first one is Funny Story by Emily Henry. This is out April 23rd. I really love this one. And as somebody who hasn't loved the last two Emily Henry romance releases, this one definitely hit. I gave this one like four and a half stars and really enjoyed it. It has a super fun premise. Basically, the heroine is engaged and her fiance comes to her after his bachelor party and is like, slight problem. Like I actually just realized I'm in love with my best friend. So this other woman. And so we're going to kind of see where things go. So you know, you need to move out. And then we cut to the hero who is actually he was the boyfriend of that best friend. And so he comes to the heroine and was like, Oh my god, I can't believe they left us for each other. What are we going to do? And so she's like, Well, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. But also while you're here, do you need like a new roommate? Because I need a place to live. So they end up moving in together and becoming roommates. We catch up to them like a couple months later, it kind of goes from there. The hero is the absolute sweetest. I just love this one. It was so fun. So good. I love both of their journeys. The romance was cute as well. So definitely check this one out on April 23rd. Also on April 23rd is The Stranger I Wed by Harper St. George. This is the start of a new Gilded Age series from her. So it is a historical romance. I read an arc of this one as well. I read this one on the way back from the Sweetgrass book signing on the plane. So this one, it was the start of a new series and I felt like it was definitely setting up a lot of things. I didn't super love it. I think I gave it like three and a half slash four stars. I feel like the series is going to be a lot of fun and I really liked the premise of this one and the start to it, but I wasn't like super sold with kind of the second half of the book. So you hear more about that one in my March kind of in a month wrap up. But yeah, this one's out on April 23rd as well. And the cover is stunning. <laughs> then on April 25th is Burnout by Rebecca Jenchak. I am very excited for this one. I believe in here the heroine is a gymnast and the hero is maybe like a dirt bike racer. I think that's what it's called. It could be totally off base. But I know the reels and the sneak peeks for it have been amazing. And I'm so excited to get to it. I've actually read most of Rebecca Jenchak's backlist. And I just really love her books on audio. So I definitely plan to read the audio for this one. And I am very excited. I think the cover is so cute. And I'm very excited to get into this one. I feel like we need different kind of sports romance 
performances and so I feel like this is gonna bring it for sure. Also on April 25th I feel like we're supposed to get Puck Block by SJ Silvis. I'll have to check that but I know it's the third book in her Bexley U series. I love this series from her and I'm very excited to get into it. I love her writing. And we have two books on April 30th which I don't know if I'll get to them in April but I definitely plan to get to them in May if not the end of April. So first up is Truly Madly Deeply by Alexandra Belfleur. I love all of her books and I'm excited to get to this one. So it is between a romance novelist and a divorce lawyer who has sworn off relationships and they agree to co-host a podcast series offering dating advice to viewers. It says it's a steamy queer rom-com. I'm very excited to get into this one. I have enjoyed I think all of her books so I'm excited to get to this one. The cover is especially cute as well April 30th. And then also on April 30th is King of Sloth by Anna Huang. So this is the fourth book I think in her Kings of Sin series. So again this is out on April 30th so I don't know if I'll get to it in April or maybe plan to get to it in May. Either way I'm very excited for it. I've really enjoyed the series. The third book King of Greed and then the first book King of Wrath have been my favorite in the series so far so I'm excited to get to this one as well. All right so those are all the new releases that I have written down. So let's see if I have anything from like Libby or on my KU that I plan to get to as well. Oh I do have Unsteady by Peyton Coran. I'm supposed to be getting the Libby audio of this pretty soon so I can't wait to get to it. This one is one I've been wanting to get to since last year. It's a hockey romance. I know that a ton of friends loved it. I know that Tori, Lizelle, and I think Melissa from Book Bar, they all loved it. So I'm very excited to get to this one. It's supposed to be angsty as well so we'll see if I can hold out and wait until April. I might start it sooner than later. <laughs> and then also on my Kindle Unlimited this one actually just came out today so this is Rope the Moon by Ava Hunter. This is I think the second book in her newest series and I heard it's angsty and so good and so I need something angsty and emotional and good so I want to check this one out so I definitely plan to get to that. I'm also currently in the middle of a reread of Catherine Cowles's Sutter Lake series so I originally read the first three books back in 2019 as they were releasing. I've been reading her for forever and I just never continued on to book four and five and so those are like the last two books except for maybe like her very very first book. Those are the only ones I haven't read from her backlist so I am currently on a reread of the Sutter Lake series just to kind of get back in immerse myself again with that series and then continue on to books four and five. So those ones I definitely plan to read in April. I also just got the audio for Strung Along by Hannah Cowan so I plan to get to that one as well. I believe it is country music star banter. They're texting pals a small town. It sounds super cute and like western vibes. Plan to get to that one as well. Let's see what else I have out. Oh also Icebound by Meredith Trapp. This is a I believe hockey romance and I can't wait to get to it. I know quite a few friends who enjoyed this one as well. So yeah those are all of my April reading plans and all of the new releases that I'm excited for. Definitely let me know in the comments if you plan to read any of these books in April as well. If you've read any of these definitely let me know if I missed any like new releases because there are so many to keep up with nowadays. Let me know that too. If you'd rather leave me a comment instead today to let me know that you watched this video maybe leave me like the smiley face with a cowboy hat like a cowboy emoji since I am wearing my cowgirl small town romance hello lovely shirt today. So definitely do that and leave me the cowboy emoji. If I'm just excited for April in general for this new month I hope we all have amazing reading months because I feel like we all need it and deserve it. April is going to be an exciting month as well because I'll be going to the Readers Take a Denver a book signing and of course Denver Colorado. So definitely let me know if you're going to that book signing as well and maybe I will see you there. If you haven't done so yet make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.